they'll come back. Because we'll need them to. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie, and next week Marvel is airing a super special first look at footage from Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. So for my Marvel movie video today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the story and the things we've learned so far, and how it's going to inform Phase 3. I will be posting a full breakdown of that Avengers 2 footage whenever it posts next week, so be sure to subscribe to get that video. It's going to be amazing. So here's some specific details about what's going on next week. The special is going to air on ABC Tuesday, March 18th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time during a special called Marvel Assembling a Universe. It's a special they're airing instead of a new episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and it's meant to be a deep look into the Marvel Universe that integrates all the movies and the TV shows. Remember, there are actually a few new TV shows coming in the next couple of years. Basically how it integrates everything so that they can tell one large story across several movies and TV shows. There's going to be footage from Age of Ultron as well as Captain America Winter Soldier and Guardians of the Galaxy. I'll talk about everything but mostly my breakdown will focus on Age of Ultron since this will be the first footage we've officially seen. There have been a few pictures and clips of them actually filming the movie but they're really low quality. Right now the only real footage we've seen from Age of Ultron is the announcement teaser from Comic Con and that wasn't real footage. It was really just originally an image of Ultron. Since then we've learned who most of the new characters will be including Vision voiced by Paul Bettany who also does the voice of Jarvis. There will probably be a motion capture element to his performance as well as James Spader who's voicing Ultron. Then there's two more major additions including Quicksilver played by Aaron Johnson and Scarlet Witch played by Elizabeth Olsen. Even if they aren't featured in the video next Tuesday, they are rumored to be in one of the Captain America Winter Soldier post credit scenes. So we will get to see what their powers look like on screen. Isn't it funny how X-Men Days of Future Past is featuring the Quicksilver character in this really big way but he's appearing for the first time at the end of a Marvel movie. I wonder how Bryan Singer and Fox feel about that. Thematically, Age of Ultron is the beginning of a new age for superheroes and villains in the Marvel Universe. Think of it as the Age of Miracles. I would call it the Age of Mutants, but since Fox legally has the rights to the X-Men franchise, only they get to use that term in their movies. So Marvel is substituting the term Miracles to broadly imply that magic and other strange abilities are going to play a huge role going forward. It's all really paving the way so that they can tell the Infinity Gauntlet storyline in a realistic way, or semi-realistic. An early review for Captain America Winter Soldier included some spoilers for two separate post credit scenes, so turn the volume down right now if you don't want to know anything about that. So one of them was just a Winter Soldier specific scene, but the other post credits clip was for Avengers Age of Ultron. In addition to Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, it features Baron Von Strucker. He's keeping them locked in an underground cell, and the scene is really just a quick shot of Quicksilver bouncing around the walls at super speed and Scarlet Witch levitating objects in the air. Von Strucker has the only dialogue and he says the age of miracles is upon us. Okay you can turn the volume back up, spoilers over. So let's talk a little bit about Phase 3 because Avengers 2 is actually going to be the last movie before Ant-Man which is the official beginning of the next phase of movies. Kevin Feige was quoted a couple of years ago as saying in the broad sense that Phase 3 represented magic, opening the door to all of the Doctor Strange rumors that you may have been hearing recently. That movie hasn't officially been announced, but Marvel still has two untitled movies scheduled for Phase 3 in addition to Ant-Man, Thor 3, Captain America 3, and Avengers 3. In keeping with the general theme of magic, obviously Doctor Strange would be a natural fit for one of those untitled movies. There's also the possibility of a female driven movie like Black Widow. Marvel has said that they've got one more in development, but nothing has been officially announced. Unofficially, the rumor is that it's a Miss Marvel movie, but Black Panther is also another possibility for that untitled film. So now let's talk a little bit about the plot of Avengers 2 based on some of the comments that Joss Whedon has made and some of the behind the scenes images we've seen. After the initial Comic Con announcement last year, Whedon talked about the evolution of Ultron as a character during the movie. They're going to change his appearance so the final version won't look like the comic book version. The origin of the character is different too. I haven't done an Ant-Man video yet, but Hank Pym in the movie will not be his creator like he is in the comic books. In Age of Ultron, he's going to evolve from a military AI version of Jarvis. So essentially Tony Stark is going to be his father. Whedon just said that they were doing it this way because they wanted Ultron to flow from things that they had already developed in the cinematic universe. And they've been developing the Tony Stark character since 2008. So on paper he shares a lot of similarities with Hank Pym, so it kind of works. 
but if you've read the comics, especially recently with Marvel's Avengers AI series, Hank Pym seems like he's way more unstable than Tony Stark. Since Stark Tech will give birth to Ultron, you can kind of understand why now the voice of Jarvis, Paul Bettany, is the logical choice to play the Vision. If you're not familiar, he's an android that's created by Ultron to help him defeat the Avengers. It's going to be Tony Stark giving birth to Ultron, giving birth to the Vision, so get excited. Like Baron Von Schrucker said, this is the age of miracles. So now that I've dropped all that info on you, let me know what are you most excited to see, especially with this new footage. You know, Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch, Ultron, The Vision. Like I said, I'll be posting a full breakdown of that new footage next week after it posts. Be sure to subscribe to get it. And be sure to send me all your suggestions for future Marvel movie videos that you want me to do. Right now, click here to learn all about my Miss Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. theories and click here to learn about my top picks for the Doctor Strange movie. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tonight. High fives.